lures I like to use in cold weather conditions. Um, I didn't get to do any fishing today, but I will be doing some fishing later on this week or this weekend maybe. What I like to show you is a few of my favorite lures I like to use throughout the cold winter months. First we're going to start off with the drop shot. This here is a tube made by Vicious Fishing. I like to use this on the drop shot with a so twitch up and down off the bottom of the surface, off the bottom of the water. Even sometimes you can use maybe like a, a curly tail grub <clears throat> every now and then or throw in a uh, imitation minnow. But you don't want to you don't want to bounce it too much you want to bounce every now and then wait a couple bounces and once you feel that dead weight and you just pull straight up you don't have to set the hook hard if you use the octopus hook and it should get a good hook set next up i want to talk about the shaky head shaky head is a versatile lure you can use it any time of the year but this is mainly used to stay on the bottom of the, of the uh, lakes or ponds or you can fish it around stumps areas that, that hold heat is key places to throw this when you're trying to fat pond bass now i preferably like to use colors like this which is like a green pumpkin and using this curly tail it gives a lot of movement once you have it on the bottom and you're bouncing it. And this little tail, it, it should float up like so. <clears throat> Another lure I like using often is the Rapala Shadow Wrap in this shiny silver color. And you want to do like a little twist, twist retrieve but you want to pause maybe 10 to 12 seconds in between pausing and twitches more than likely you'll get a bite on the pause when you get a bite you don't really have to set the hook hard because you got these three treble hooks here and that should, that should do the job and i like to fish that with uh fluorocarbon maybe 10 to 12 pounds at the most On to the next one, we'll go with the, uh, let's see, this is going to be the Rage Craw. And this is in the uh, watermelon red color. You see that? And when I fish this, I like to use it on a <clears throat> Texas rig with a bullet weight. And I want my weight to be pegged, not too far from the actual top of the lure. And this here, these are pegs, you can use these as peg weights. These are what they call bobber stoppers. And those work pretty good. I actually have a I actually have one here rigged up on my rod. I don't know if you can see that there. You see here I have a bobber stopper and a bullet weight not too far maybe sometimes you want, to, you want to bring it down just a tad maybe from here to there I'm fishing this off the bottom with slow hop with trees or <clears throat> shaking every now and then just shake it you should get a pretty good little thump on that and the key is fishing on the bottom when the water's cold and also this, this these techniques can be used uh, throughout the summer, spring, fishing around docks and, and fishing around wood, laydowns, things of that nature. Colors I like to stick to this time of year will be like this card here, black and blue. And this is from Bruiser Baits, Bruiser Breaks Crawls. This one here is called the, what is it called? 
the Rage Space Monkey. I've used this quite a few times. If you've seen my pictures and posts on Fish Brain, you, you know what this is. You should try it out. It's pretty decent oil. I like it. As far as uh, hooks for Texas rigging these crawls here, I've learned and experienced that these offset shank worm hooks I tend to miss quite a few fish so going back to the offset worm hook number three which is a three aught versus the four aught I would go with the three aught the three aught works pretty good um, I have yet to miss a fish using this three aught and Gamagatsu uh, the, the, the hooks are really really sharp and if you're looking for a good hook to use that's the way to go that's the ticket um let's see what else we got here also should not take out the pack i have here a another raised car center summer color raised tail <clears throat> summer car it works all during the times of the year you don't have to <clears throat> work it back fast you can work it slow you don't want those those pincers you don't want them to, to flare up too much you want to be moving slightly very subtle you get a small you might get a small little bite and just when you shake it you know grab it pick it up that's when you set the hook um these are just a few tips and tricks and and things that i like to use throughout the the winter time uh if you have any questions please comment uh like, subscribe, and thanks again, tight lines.